welcome, welcome to Paige's Lessons. If this is your first time ever listening to the episode, well, how you doing? I mean, fuck, what took you so long to get here? I'm glad to have you. This is a season dedicated toward my adventures of traveling abroad. I just got a one-way ticket to London. I bought it and uh, was like, fuck it, let's just go backpacking. Let's do this solo travel and let's figure this out what this digital nomad life is like. So this is what I'm doing. And I just spent probably 65-ish days in the UK. So mainly used to English as the main language. And now this is the first time ever in Germany. This is the first time I'm in a really uh, confused language, I'll just say. Yes, of course, Germans speak English as well but doesn't mean they like to. So today's episode, we're going to get into Frankfurt. And I just spent, if you listened to the last episode, I was telling you about my Dublin adventures. So that was my first time in Ireland as well. That was really cool. And so I took a plane to Frankfurt. And Frankfurt is a really great hub. That's pretty much that international airport where everyone just goes first and then you kind of disperse out. I also picked Frankfurt because I had a friend that lived there and graciously she let me sleep on her couch for a few days. Um, And I've known her since I was 15 or 16 years old, which is really cool. Um, We were both on the dance team together. So it was so nice to know someone that I grew up with in my childhood, (laughs) uh, my childhood home that's overseas. It's really fucking comforting. It's really nice. So I got into Frankfurt, stayed with her for a few days, and I just explored the city for a little bit. I, when I lived in Denver, um, and I haven't had a car really since 2019, um, but in Denver, you kind of scooter everywhere. And so they have the exact same scooter here in Frankfurt. So I just scoot scooted around (laughs) um found some really good um places to take pictures it's really open lovely day got some pizza saw the sunset it was just a really cool vibe it was really nice um but I did I there's something about you when you know you are in a different place the the sign, like the street signs are really fucking confusing. Um, everyone obviously fucking bikes around here. And I guess some of the other things that really hit me with Germany that I've learned is no one drinks water. (laughs) Everyone, you can just have an open container, um, everywhere, which is pretty cool. Unlike America, which is so shamed and you got a brown paper bag it, but not here, not in Germany. Um, so everyone, you know, just drinks beer and all kinds of beverages and they're just walking down the street, but no one's like fucking intoxicated. I think that's the difference. It's like, if we let Americans do that, everyone would just be drunk all the fucking time, but no, they, they have their shit in check here. So, and what I mean by they don't drink water is that's not even a thing. Like I have to go out of my way to ask for tap water. They don't just bring it to your table. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm really not a drinker that much. I mean, I'll have a drink here and there, but like, I don't know. Um, I really am a water bitch. So not being used to the water, um, was kind of hard, but I think what's really cool as well with just being in Frankfurt, like it's just, it's just like a good introduction I, you know, I was really fucking worried because this is the first time I'm entering the Schengen. And if you don't know what the Schengen region is, for an American tourist, if you just have your passport, when you enter the EU, which the Schengen makes up 27 countries, some are EU and then some are not, but still, the Schengen is this region of all of these countries that I am allowed to go with my American passport I don't need to sign any paperwork or do anything extra, but I'm only allowed in these countries for 90 days out of 180 days of the year. 
So when I, so I can, you know, go into Germany, I could go to Prague, I could go to Amsterdam, I can hop around on the train and plane everywhere within this 90 days. But once the 90 days has met, I just got to get the hell out of the EU. I don't have to go back to the States. I just got to get the hell out of here. So um, I was actually really nervous entering and flying into Germany because I, I don't know why I was so stressed, but like I didn't know if like the border patrol was going to be really intense on my ass to prove that I was leaving. I didn't know because that's what happened when I entered Ireland, I was also really like, and the UK, I was like, do I have to show proof? Do I have to show that I'm exiting? Are they not going to trust me? Like, I don't know. I, I, I built up a lot of anxiety just from like shit that I read and like YouTube and things like that. But you know what? What ended up happening was they didn't give a shit. So I got to the border patrol in Germany and I, I didn't, you know, I, I was like, shit, should I buy like a train ticket out of Germany? Like, what should I do? But I didn't. I just risked it. And I got to the border patrol. The dude literally was like, are you on vacation? And I was like, yep, I'm on holiday. And he stamped it. And then I went on my way. It was so fucking easy. All that built up of anxiety. It's all good. Um, If I'm here past the 90 days, I don't know if I'm going to go to jail, but I'm definitely going to pay a fucking fine. And we don't want that. So I already calculated my time of when I do need to leave the Schengen. And I just want to be honest with you, like now that the clock has officially started, because at least when I was in the UK with my American passport, I could be there for six months. So it felt a little bit, um, I didn't really feel any pressure of time, but this, this 90 days, it makes it feel like Paige, make every second count, you know? Um, but I really got to be careful with that pressure that I'm putting on myself. And so as a lesson for you, even if you're not traveling, it doesn't even fucking matter. My message to you and my lesson to you is, are you catching yourself when you're putting pressure on like time or FOMO? I got to do this thing. I got to live to the fullest. Like, are you kind of building up on this pressure And what's that really doing to your insides? What's that really doing for you? For me, it's fucking stressful. It's like part of me thinks, oh, like by being stressed out is going to actually help you get more things done. But like, I got to just be honest with myself. It's really not. So instead, I'd rather look at these 90 days that I have and just take it day by day to be honest, because if I get too fucking planned and itinerary driven, it's not, it's going to kind of ruin it for me. It's not really going to be fun. So, um, I definitely encourage you to watch out, have awareness, be cautious. If you are building up any kind of fucking story that is stressing you out in your head, do you have a need to be certain? Do you have a need to prove yourself? What the fuck is that about? Because you don't. Just telling you that right now, because that's also what I needed to hear is Paige, it's actually going to be fine. You don't have to stress out so much just because the clock has started with these 90 days. It's still okay. Still fucking enjoy yourself. Um, so yeah, so, um, you know, Frankfurt, I was only there for really just a couple days and, uh, but it was nice to explore. It was nice to just like get my feet a little wet, you know, eh. I'm not going to lie, it was a little hard. Uh, Nothing's really English translated. So, you know, the menus aren't really explicitly English. And no one's really rude so far. Um, I haven't had that much interaction with people. But, like, I could just feel that I'm a foreigner. I could feel that, like, yep, this definitely is in the States. Um, But that's okay. This is part of the fucking experience. So... After Frankfurt, the mission is now Munich for Oktoberfest. Really fucking stoked. Check out the next episode. Really just press play because uh, it's already up. If you're loving these episodes of Paige's Lessons and you're ready to dive deeper into creating your dream lifestyle, or maybe you just want some accountability and support while you're building these goals, let's map this out together. 
I offer a variety of packages and price points. You can see an outline of what's included in each one-on-one -on -one coaching package in my services section located on my website in the show notes. The first step is to book a time to chat, which is a free 15 minute discovery call. Once that's scheduled, this tells me that you are open to exploring new outcomes to your current problem. During this call, we'll organize your priorities, create a strategy based on your unique goals, clearly identify your vision, brainstorm possibilities how I can help you, and by the end of the call, you will have more confidence in your vision and ideas on how to take your action for your new future lifestyle. We can talk about what package works best for you and what's a good fit when you book the call through the scheduling link in the show notes. I can't wait to connect with you and learn more about you. Talk soon. Thanks so much for listening to Paige's Lessons with me, Paige Mitchell. You can find me on several social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all using the same handle at pagemitchell.coach. Got any questions about the show? Send me an email at connect at pagemitchell.coach located in the show notes. And if you really like the show, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're listening to this so you don't miss an episode. Please make sure to leave a rating and review because I love hearing your observations, takeaway, and personal journey. Remember, every day provides a lesson. You got this.